Hi guys, out with uh, Roy today on our pasture site. Roy's down there somewhere. Uh, very quiet, but uh, not much trash either. either. So uh, hopefully when you do get a signal, it's something decent. Had a few musket balls, a few bits and pieces of the usual so far, but um, just had quite a deep signal. And <clears throat> I think I got my first coin. Yeah. George fifth half penny, I think. Yeah, these fields have been ploughed recently, so the last couple of years. So it wouldn't surprise me if stuff's fairly deep, but uh, it's quaint, so hopefully we can find a few other bits. Come back to you in a bit. Right, guys, just walking back to the car. Um, just pulled this out, I haven't had a proper look at it yet, but it does look interesting. It's like some kind of uh, harness pendant. Might have been some enamel on that at some point. Yeah, a bit of gold gilt on the back. Pretty sure that's a little pendant of some sort. Maybe a harness pendant? Not sure. I could be completely wrong, but. Yeah, we never know. So we'll give it a clean up. Try and get some pictures, try and get it ID'd. All right. Right guys, out with Roy today. Um, got a lovely field to have a go at. Um, been on it a few times, just got maize on it. Um, so yeah, really good. Literally walked in through the gate. Um, First signal, and it's just in the clod there. And if you can see it, gave a 12.07. And I'm thinking that could be a hammered. So I'll open it together and have a look. Oh, yes, he's a hammered. What a start! I don't want to uh, rub it too much because it looks in good condition. It's a long cross. Probably an Edward, I'd say. Penny, maybe. Oh, what a great looking coin. Right, well, we'll wash that up later and I'll get some nice stills. What a cracking start. Right guys, Roy just called me over, um, got a little signal and looks like Roy's got a hammered as well. He's letting me do the, uh, the little unveil, looks like it's a bit clipped but uh, all the same, it's a little hammered. Stuck in the clay there. Yeah, it's a little long cross. Oh, it's in good condition as well. Pity that it's pretty clipped on the end. Put that down there. See if we can get a bit of focus. There we go. Looks like another Edward. Little Edward penny. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's two off here, which we didn't expect. So, uh, let's hope there's a few more. Well done, right? Right, guys, just got a uh, 12.41 kicked back the soil just with my foot and uh, see that there. Got a feeling that's a silver coin. Yeah. 
pretty sure it's silver, pretty battered. Don't think we can tell who it is yet, but uh, not sure saying that. Oh, hello. Who's that facing left? I'm wondering if that's a George second. Right, I'm going to clean that up and uh, put a bit of water on it. But I've got a feeling that could be a George second. If it is, that's a big first for me. Okay, I'll come back to you in a sec. Right, guys, just put a little bit of water on it. Not George second, not even the same gender, but uh, still a big first for me, which I'm really pleased about because uh, that's a Queen Anne sixpence. worn but I'll take it. So that's another silver today. Oh I like this field. <laughs> right let's go and get some more. Right Roy's just call, called me over. Um, <laughs> We're having a cracking day today. Um, I just pulled out a little um, crusty penny, but um, where's it gone? Uh, hang on, I did have a little Claudia somewhere. Uh, Where is it? Uh, oh. uh, there we go. Still in the clod, and we think. We might have another little hammered. So, you alright with me opening this one, Roy? Alright, battery just ran out of storage there, so I had to uh, free up a bit. Roy just put a little bit of water on it, and uh, it's pretty manky, but we think it's a little Lizzie Penny. Just see the uh, shield there. So it's definitely a little hammered. We're going to plump for a Lizzie Penny. We'll clean it up and see if we can get an ID. That's fantastic. So that's three hammers and one milled silver today. And the day's not finished, so watch this space. Right, just having a cup of coffee. Um, Sunday morning, me and Roy back out on the field where we had the uh, few hammered and the Mary. Oh, no, not Mary, uh, Anne. Sixpence, tell it's still early, can't you? Um, been out for about, uh, what time is it now? Quarter to ten, so about two hours. Got another couple of hours left. Um, not a great deal of luck, but big plumb bob or weight of some sort. Musket ball. Not sure what that is. A lad probably. A couple of crusty pennies, cartwheel penny. 1920 George V penny. And another crusty eightpenny. Whatever he's putting on the soil isn't very good for coppers because they're all really, really manky. But uh, that's all we've had for the minute. So I'm just having a cup of coffee and uh, get back to it. So, oh, incidentally, the um, the little uh, Lizzie that Roy found was uh, half groped, uh, not a penny, as I thought, but uh, cleaned up okay. So, yeah, okay, well, see if we can find anything else. So, you've got a couple of hours left, I'm just going to hit this area here and see what we can find. Okay, come back to you in a bit. Right, guys, I'm going to try and shield out of the wind a bit but um, just thought I picked up a bit of uh, lead give it a bit of a wipe and uh, seems to be a bit of detail on that uh, it could be a bag seal but it could be part of a uh, papal buller is it not sure but uh, just these little markings here, make me wonder that it might be. 
Uh, I'm not sure on that. I'll have to get it cleaned up and see if it's possible to get an ID off it. But uh, if it is anything decent, I shall let you know and put some stills up later. Okay. Right guys, just got a uh, 11.36, pulled them out of that little club there, and I'm not sure, but this could be a bit of silver, it could be a bug. Trying to stay out of the wind. And, um, yeah, silver coin, very worn, nothing on it really. My guess probably William III. Don't know. Might be some very minor detail once I've cleaned it up, but it's another silver. I'll take it. Okay, that's uh, silver 13 for the year. Uh... Right, we're just on the way to the cart, and uh, just obviously had that very worn. Uh, silver disc, uh, just got another 1241 just literally underneath the surface. Just kick the, uh, the mud off, and there's another little silver there. Looks like it's going to be a little threepence. Yeah, George V. Yeah, little three P. Nineteen nineteen. Oh, so that's full silver as full silver as well. I made it by a year. So brilliant. Okay, silver fourteen for the year. About uh, fifty meters from the gate. So I'll try my luck for another one. Roy's just called me over. <laughs> right, just come over to Roy. Um, thinks he's found a silver. Looking very pleased with himself there, and uh, certainly has. It's a nice William III shilling. Date on it, 1697. That's in great nick, that. So that's uh, silver number six out of this field. And the third William III as well. So, good sign. Hopefully there's some more. Uh, we're using his Deus for the 11-inch uh, coil, is it? I think I'd rather the E-Track, but hey-ho. <laughs> right, we'll move on and see if we can find something else. Right, just got a 12.41s, pretty much screaming signal on the surface. Thought it was going to be a bottle top. Um, I think I've got a bit of silver. Still in the club there. No, I haven't had a proper look at it yet, but break it open. Looks shilling size. Yep, one shilling. Victoria, I'm guessing. And there she is. Bit worn, but uh, still a bit of silver. So we'll actually even get the date. 1849 I think that is. Fantastic, okay. Another bit of silver. We're doing alright. Okay, come back to you in a bit. 